Hello everyone, it's Dick here. Sparked by the ever-expanding and oppressive ULEZ fines being levied on Londoners and other residents elsewhere across the UK, and my stubbornness that individual personal transport and freedom of movement is and should be a basic right, I continue to demo the new electric motorcycle offerings defiantly arriving on UK shores, like desperate asylum seekers looking to share in the fabled lucrative UK economy, only to learn, like those asylum seekers, that it no longer exists. One such brand is Sweden's Cake Electric Bikes. It's ironic that Cake is trying to break into the current shambles that is the UK market, as Sweden's trading relationship with the EU is the model that just may stem the tides of recession here in the UK. In any event, at the moment, Cake Cake is trying to sell stubborn Britain's low-powered, low-ranged electric motorcycles and scooters. When first seeing a Cake motorcycle, the natural response, even before knowing they are from Sweden, is to think that these are the bikes IKEA would make if they made motorcycles. Muted tones, splashed with whimsical colors, odd yet pleasing proportions, austere pop-up retail spaces, slick marketing materials. Cake has ticked all of the new modern boxes that we've come to expect from Swedish design. Combined Combined with their elevated, enlightened, environmental and political perspective, and a silly name, Cake feels like a morsel of a non-dystopian future. As a child of the twilight of the last century, this design language speaks to me of optimism and possibilities. Having lived nearly a quarter century past the year 2000, I know this optimism was misplaced. But it's nice to be reminded that there are pockets of the world that still think progress and ideals can coexist on a peaceful global scale. But perhaps I'm just being seduced by shapes and colors the way droves of customers looking for furniture and meatballs are when they enter an IKEA warehouse. Am I just blind? Blindly following the bright yellow arrows painted on the floor, leading straight to the till. If you have watched my channel before, you'll know better than that. Cake has three motorcycles on offer. I will dispense with the nuanced argument of whether these are mopeds, scooters, or motorcycles. For ease of listening, I will refer to all of these as motorcycles. Acknowledging that if they were powered by petrol engines, they would fit more neatly in established classes of motorized cycles. As I've said, Cake has three models. If you visit their website, you'll see pictures of many more models, and these are just variations on a theme, or I should say three themes. The Maka, which has no Swedish to English translation that I can find, is your entry-level moped scooter offering. It is small and light and offers the least features and lowest performance numbers. The Usa, translated into English meaning scoop, is a Maka with an aluminum beam welded to it, a more powerful battery and motor, and the ability to carry heavier racks and other accessories. And the Kalk or translated into English, the lime. Perhaps the Swedes don't know what a lemon is when referring to a vehicle. The Kalk is an enduro-styled off-road motorcycle, which was the first bike offered by Cake and the most powerful. Sinjay Gottwald, a Cake employee, is currently riding one across Africa, carrying an extra battery and very little else. It is not surprising that an off-road bike was the first developed and researched by Cake, as they could focus on engineering and design without necessarily worrying about street legality until further down the track. That is possibly why there are only two street legal cocks among the eight now on offer. On paper, the performance and range of these bikes do not inspire, but perhaps their materials, construction, and ride quality will prove otherwise. Yes. I think I could sit on one. This was this was bending by that one. I do like the white grips. Wow, the balance is awesome. The balance is awesome. Yeah, I was balancing until I started thinking about it. Hold on. That's <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Holy cow! He doesn't need to ride it, he just likes the fact that he can track static. It's great until you think about it. Oh, that's cool. I'm of two minds about the, the plexi thing. Part of me really likes it because I had an iMac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it is very, very iMac. Yeah. And part of me thinks you can you can form plastic these days pretty easily. <laughs> and after the first ride in grit, that's good. It's going to be 
totally marred and disgusting. I mean, of the three, I'm drawn to this thing. Yeah. There's one without a battery. That's. Industrial, but kind of not. I mean, it looks like the same frame oh, which, with, yeah. without the I beam. Oh no, it's longer. Yeah, that's cool. so that's cool. But yeah, it's it's like oh, it doesn't have a hub drive. It has a, its own designated it's motor. What's going on with this one? I'm a kind of here. Is there anything you can get to fill this pipe? I love you. What is this? And this. Hourly. Oh, that's how you plug it in. I was going to say, this looks a bit wonky. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you're riding today. Oh, okay. And I've seen Look at the grass. Well, I mean, it, 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 it is openness gives yeah. you an idea of what yeah. it's going to collect. I guess that's what happens when you take the passenger seat off. You get a few on there. Side there. stance brings up on its own. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's not heavy. You just picked it up. Yeah, I wanted to so see. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's quite a good idea. That's just like 10 years off there. Yeah. That's the full kit. That's the full kit. Yeah. Did you see the passenger seat on the um, scooty thing? Much heavier than a car battery. No, not <laughs> Show you my my yeah. my low in step. And I'll walk you through the uh, operation. Cool. Uh, you know what I've noticed is there's a oh. brake pedal, brake brake lever, and a brake pedal. Oh, that's nice. So you're not doing a a weirdy thing. You're not killing yourself on a thinking you're pulling in the clutch out of habit. Yeah. And you're actually, and you're not ghosting your pedal there. You do not like these. They're not adjustable in any way. <laughs> I've been sitting on this for about two minutes and my ass is so uncomfortable. It's sitting on a eye beam. It's sitting on a steel beam. Oh my god. Is there any cushion? I don't know what that shape creaking is. There's a crack on the chain cover there. The kickstand is broken. The mirror is wonky, and my ass hurts so much. If you like that video and you want to see more like them, hit like, share, and subscribe.